Hi everyone, welcome back to the Gallagher Shots YouTube channel. My name is Scott uh, and in this video we're going to be doing something a little bit different. Um, we're going to be loading up Football Manager 2022 and what I've done, I've imported all of the current Premier League results and fixtures up to the 31st of January 2022. Um, I've also um, imported all of the January transfers um, and also of obviously all of the summer ones as well. And what we're going to be doing is we're going to be taking over Newcastle United. We're going to be taking over from Eddie Howe and we're going to see if we can guide Newcastle to Premier League safety. Um, because obviously we've imported everything, we still sit 18th in the league, two wins. We're going to see if it can be done. So the way this works, there are a couple of things that aren't true to life. Um, first of all, injuries. We can't import those, I can't import those. Um, so Callum Wilson will be available, Isaac Hayden will be available, um, and any other injuries won't be kind of reflected here. Obviously, moving forward in the game, injuries can happen, um, and again, that'll still come through. Um, another couple of things, cups. We can't um, import all the cup data, so there's a very good chance that we are still in the FA Cup. Um, there's also a very good chance that we could also be in the Caribou Cup as well. So we'll have to see how that goes. Um, I've loaded this up about three or four times and every time I've been in the FA Cup. So there'll probably be an FA Cup game before the Everton game, which isn't ideal, but we'll deal with it. Um, and also stuff like goal scorers, assists, match ratings, all that sort of stuff up to the import the 31st of January. That also doesn't take any effect so um what we sometimes will see is some players will be unhappy that they haven't had any game time um because the game thinks that they've actually played zero games when we're halfway through a season it doesn't matter it doesn't affect anything i've done this a few times with different saves um the players will maybe kick up a stink but you they just back off okay so uh with all that out the way with let's jump into the game and let's get started Okay, so here we have it. Uh, as you can see, we have taken over uh, Newcastle United. Hire myself, Scott Tomlinson, taken over from Eddie Howe. Um, let's look at this. Yep, so it looks like we are still in the FA Cup. Uh, game on the 5th of February against West Brom. Um, this hasn't got Steve Bruce in charge. Obviously, that's just happened at time of me recording this, so it's not that up to date. Um, but like I said, we're up to 31st of January, so anything up to there um, should be intact. So I don't think... Frank Lampard will be in charge of Everton either, but we will see. But yeah, 43,500 a week, uh, not too shabby. Taking over Eddie Howe. Um, we are currently sitting in 18th place, as I said, but we are on a three-match unbeaten league run. Um, so we will see how we get on. Okay, so here is the current lineup and the best 11 according to the game. So as you can see, Dubravka in goal. Uh, we've got Byrne, Shaw and Fernandez playing a back three. Uh, Trippier and Target uh, playing as wingbacks. You've got Bruno, uh, Grimaldes uh, in the centre with Isaac Hayden. Alan St. Maximum and Mickey Almiron on the wings, which is surprising. Uh, and then Callum Wilson up on his own on number nine. So we've got Matt Target on loan until the end of the season. Uh, outgoings, obviously, Jeff Hendricks, Freddie Woodman, Matty Longstaff, they all went during the transfer window of January. So did Elliot Anderson. So they are all out at their respective clubs. And there's a few others as well, a few of the youngsters who are all out and about. So here's the one thing I'm worried about, and this is really if we continue after this season, and it is the board's requirement of a top half Premier League finish. It's required. It's something that they want. Um, we're sitting in 18th. Uh, uh, <laughs> we'll see what happens. Um, that could get us fired, even if we do avoid relegation, but we'll see, because uh, there's no chance we're getting in the quarterfinal of the Caribou Cup. Probably won't reach a quarterfinal of the FA Cup, although if we do still have that cup run, like it says, that will be nice. Um, and obviously everything else we can try and do in the summer next year. Um, okay, so let's take a little look at the tactics that I'm planning to introduce uh, into this team. Um, I've put this down as a 5-2-3. It does look like it's more three at the back, but the idea is these covering wing backs um, will provide cover when needed. Um, but just go from the bottom, we've got uh, Dubravka in goal uh, on a sweeper-keeper in support. Um, so he 
will come out to sweep up any balls should that happen. We do have a quite a, a high engagement. Um, got two ball playing defenders and Shaw and Byrne. They're on defence. Um, they will move forward, being in a ball playing defensive mode. They will push up. Uh, to the halfway line and sometimes even past it I've noticed with this um, but because they're on defend they'll also obviously track back and that's what you want from from them uh, we've got Fernandez is a central defender uh, under cover mode so he's almost going to act like a sweeper um, he shouldn't push on at all he'll let Burn and Shaw push forward if needed and uh, he'll stay back uh, to cover the line as kind of the last man in defense uh, two cover wing backs uh, in target and Trippier on attack um, what I'm hoping they're going to do is push forwards, um, overlap from the two inside forwards, but I think they also in this they'll push into the middle as well. So my idea is, and you'll see this a little bit later on when I talk about this, is to bombard this kind of final third with players, pass the ball around, get it into the box, and then hopefully get the goals in. Um, so in midfield, we've got Shelby as a deep line playmaker on support. Um, he'll drop back a bit and allow these cover, uh, these covering wing backs to move forward. And then we've got Bruno Gomarez uh, as a box-to-box -box midfielder. Um, he's going to be up and down the pitch, um, you know, providing those balls. And he's on support as well, so he's also going to drop back when needed. Uh, we've got two inside forwards. We've got Ryan Fraser and Alan St. Maximum. The idea is that the covering wing backs are going to provide that width and these two are going to drop in to kind of the edge of the box and into the box um, to provide a little bit more support for Wilson, who is up on his own as a complete forward in attack. Um, so that's how I've got them lined up. Um, for the first game, like I said, it is a FA Cup game. So I can't use my target. He is cup tied. Um, he's, in, he's ineligible, uh, as it says. Um but that's the tactics. Uh, let's move on to the schedule, just so you can see the schedule. So obviously, um, all the league games are as they should be. So let me actually just hide FA Cup and Caribou Cup. And we can take a look. So here's all the league games. And as you can see, the, as they are in real life, two wins, one against Burnley, one against Leeds. Um, a few draws, obviously, throughout the way. Um, most recent being Manu and Watford at home. And the next game is Everton at home on the 8th of February. Uh, one thing about the COVID postponed games, uh, it just kind of drops them in as and when. So there's the Southampton game on the 13th of April. Uh, and there's the Everton game on the 20th of April. Uh, we've got quite a heavy April by the looks of things. Um, and all the other teams that have had postponed games as well, those just get dropped in at random times uh, throughout the game. Um, unless you put a date in which, at time of recording, they don't have dates, so they just get put in. Uh, let's put the FA Cup and the Caribou Cup games back in, because uh, we are in the FA Cup still, and we've actually just been knocked out of the Caribou Cup uh, in the semi-final. Um, so let's look at the Caribou Cup first. So what do we do? We had Preston at home, which would be 3-0. Uh, we got West Brom, uh, which would be 2-1. Uh, and then we had Chelsea. And we beat Chelsea 2-1, who then done us over 3-0 at home in the Premier League. Uh, obviously, we all know about that result. Uh, then we had Blackpool in the quarterfinal, which was a nice, easy quarterfinal, probably. 2-0. Uh, uh, home result as well. We've had a lot of home fixtures in this. The only away game was Chelsea. Uh, and then we played Man City at home uh, in the semi-final uh, where we drew one all and then we got beat 3-2 in the second leg um, against Man City uh, away, which isn't too bad going, to be honest, for Man City. They're a bit of a powerhouse in this game. They normally do you over 6-7-0 in my experience unless you set up really defensively. Um, FA Cup, we beat Wigan. Um, so like I say, it's not true to life. There's no Cambridge game here. We beat them 3-0 away. And there we have the West Brom game. Uh, so this is a bit of a worry. We have a game on the 5th and then a game on the 8th. So I might pick a, a younger side to go out against West Brom uh, for that fixture. Uh, let's just go to the competition just so we can take a look. Yep, league table as it is, uh, as it currently stands. Newcastle sitting in 18th. 21 games played, 2 wins, 9 defeats and 10 draws with a minus 22 goal difference and 15 points in total. Uh, we have a game in hand against Norwich, but the two teams below us have games in hand against us. Um, I believe when I hit continue or when I go to the inbox and get rid of all the stuff, 
Burnley and Watford will play each other, um, which will be interesting. So by the time we go into the Everton game, who knows where we're, where we'll be? Um, I believe this game is scheduled for Friday. Okay, so what I'm going to do, I'm going to play on on this game, get through all the stuff that you probably don't want to see, and we'll come back for the West Brom game. We'll play the FA Cup, and then we'll move on to the league games after that. Watford have just beaten Burnley in their replayed game. Uh, they won 3-1 by the looks of things. Uh, Hernandez, Dennis and King with the goals, with Burnley's new sign-in, Weghorst, uh, getting a consolation. Um, that puts the table in a little bit worse viewing than it was a few days ago. Uh, we are now 19th, obviously no change from our side, but Watford have jumped out of the relegation zone into 17th, and they now have 17 points. Um, obviously piles the pressure on Burnley a lot more uh, because they are now uh, rooted to the bottom of the table. Um, but, you know, if we can win against Everton, we will leapfrog Watford as well. OK, so we're just about to go into the FA Cup game. And like I said, I'm making some pretty major changes because um, we do have another game in two days' time. So player fitness is always a worry uh, when it comes to that sort of stuff. Uh, and the only player I'm really keeping in who will be in my starting 11 in the next game is Ryan Fraser. Um, I need to take target out, actually, because he is ineligible. So let me just put Hayden in on the bench. Um, but yeah, we're going for uh, Dummett, Lascelles and Clark with Darlow in goal, Mankio and Lewis on those covering wing-backs, uh, Joe Linton and Willock in the middle, Murphy, Fraser and Wood up front. So let's get into the game and let's see how we get on. Okay, so we've just kicked off and uh, we're straight into the highlight of kickoff, so this normally takes a few minutes. I'm just going to speed this up just a tad. And I'm going to turn off replays for the opposition. Uh, but yeah, not really too fussed about this game. Um, like I say, it's a something that I could have done without because we've got that game, important game in the next, next round. Um, but we'll see how we get on. Uh, it's five minutes gone, and this is about the fourth West Brom highlight, which I'm worried about, but we do win it straight away. Play a nice ball out of Fraser, who runs into trouble, but he somehow still has it. Uh, yeah, he passes it to Willick, which is a good thing to do. Back to Lascelles. Uh, we're going right across the pitch now. Clark back to Willick. Uh, Fraser's going to pass it out to Jamal Lewis, who's going to play it back. Yeah, I like the, the passing that we're doing. That's what I wanted. Fr Fraser's just hit the post there uh, as I was talking. I should probably shut up. <laughs> um, what a ball that was by uh, by Lewis. Okay, Ryan Fraser's played in Wood Brilliant there. Can he finish? Yes, he can. That is first goal of the season for Wood. Uh, first shot of the game for Wood. First shot on target for us. 10 minutes gone. It's 1 0. This was a great little run by Fraser and then a lovely little through ball. Played him in behind Bartley, uh, and he picks it up. Still has a lot to do, but he sl slides it straight past Johnston uh, into the bottom right corner, and he runs off in celebration. What a goal. He has Wood playing a nice ball to Murphy. He's going to run onto that. Can he get a cross it? He's got to wait for Wood to get back, I think. Yes, he does, but the cross is absolutely shambolic. Uh, we get it back, though. Willock back to Fraser. Fraser to Wood, Wood to Fraser again, Fraser's got to put that home, yes he does, slots at home lovely, that's some lovely passing and moving of the ball, I'm very happy with what I'm seeing, uh, obviously this game is meaningless when it comes to the league, but yeah, nice little triangles, I'm liking that, and then Fraser just slots at home like it's his bread and butter, excellent, good start, 2-0, 23 minutes gone. Um, what are we looking at? 33 minutes. Okay, we have a little free kick. Murphy's going to dink it in and dumb it with a first-time volley in the bottom left-hand corner. It's 3-0. We are flying. Um, it's actually playing it twice. Uh, there's a tight offside, but he was well on looking at those lines. Yes, no problems. No need for VAR. It's 3-0. Uh, Lewis has done his man there. He's running right down the byline. Um... Passes it back to Willick. Willick back to Joel Linton. Joel Linton to Fraser. Fraser to Wood. Lovely 1-2 football there. And the keeper saves it. And it's out for a corner. Wood and Fraser are linking up really nicely. Um, it's what I wanted to see. Yeah, we're just about to go into the first half here. There'll probably be one more little... Uh, yeah, one more little highlight. Here it is. Mankiw to Murphy. Back to Mankiw. Crosses it in. It's over Wood's head. 
Lewis smashes it from the edge of the box <laughs> and it's an absolute thunder strike and it goes straight in. Um, yeah, 4-0 at half time. Wood misses that completely. I don't know what he's thinking of, but Willick just lays it off Lewis on a tee. Top left-hand corner. Johnson has no chance at all. Um, yeah, good performance. I am very happy uh, as we go into half time. Let's tell the lads that I am very, very happy. And let's go straight into the second half. It's 4 0 still um, as we play the ball out. And yeah, Fraser's not getting any of those long balls up, so I don't know why Dollar's even trying. But Lewis picks it up. Lewis is having a blinder of a game. He's really trying to earn his spot in this squad. Uh, Willick plays it forward. Fraser's in, and it's an absolute. <laughs> it's another absolute. Describe it to the fans back at home. Screamer. <laughs> it actually was though. It actually was. Totally <laughs> through ball uh, by Willick to play him in. He just absolutely. Runs past his man, times his run perfectly, stay on side, and then just spanks it past Johnston. Um, yeah, this is a good start. I am enjoying that, and this is another tight offside, but you can see he times his run perfectly uh, before he gets the ball and smashes it home. 5-0, uh, who would have thought? Ryan Fraser was playing a 9.9. .9. I have never seen a 9.9 .9 performance in Football Manager before, um, so hats off to the wee man. Uh, I'm going to make some changes. Let's have a look and see what we can do. Who is tired? Um, do I take off Fraser? He's playing a 9.8. Uh, I'll take off Murphy um, and I'll give St. Maxim a little round just for fitness more than anything. I say that he's probably going to get injured and I'm going to bring off Willick and uh, bring on Longstaff. I figure Willick was playing well. But uh, again, I might want him for the next game, so we will keep him as is. This should be the last highlight of the game. Yeah, it's telling us to take off Fraser. I'm not taking off Fraser on a 9.9. .9. Um, just waiting now for full time uh, for the whistle to go. We've got St. Maximum on the ball. He's crossed it in to nobody. Uh, and there is that full time whistle. It's Newcastle United 5, West Brom 0. And look at Ryan Fraser playing a 10. Point zero, um, absolute blinder. Describe it was to the fans back at home. Absolute screamer. <laughs> it actually was though. It actually was. Talk Nineteen shots, ten on target. Uh, we had an xG two point five four, uh, fifty three percent possession, and an eighty eight percent pass completion rate. Uh, with only one yellow card, um, our average rating was seven point nine. Um, let's hope we can continue this form into the Premier League games. So we just had the draw for the FA Cup fifth round and it looks like we've got West Ham away, uh, which will be interesting. Uh, we could add some easier ties, but West Ham away it is. Uh, I don't know when that will take place. I think it's pretty soon. Uh, let's just check the schedule, see if it's on there already. Yep, there it is. Uh, yeah, 2nd of March, uh, which is great because we then have a game on the 5th. So it's going to be like this month a bit, two, uh, two games back to back. But anyway, we'll take that when we come to it. Uh, we'll move on to the Everton game. Okay, then this is the lineup that we're going for against Everton. Um, got Dubravka in goal. The Cells playing the central defence in cover. And we've got Cher and Byrne playing that ball playing defensive role. Uh, Trippier on target uh, on the covering wing backs with uh, Bruno in deep line playmaker and Willick as box to box. Um, I did try and play Bruno in the box to box role, but I figured his passing may be better. To be a deep line playmaker but we'll see uh, we can change that round and bring on Shelby if needs be to fill that role uh, we've got Almiron on the uh, right and St Maximum on the left as the inside forwards and then Callum Wilson as the lone striker up front um, I do have options on the bench I've got Wood I've got Joe Linton to come on uh, should we need to um, I've also got Jacob Murphy um, Shelby and Ritchie um, so we've got plenty of options so let's just jump straight into the game Okay, and we're getting started straight away with the kickoff of this uh, really important game, uh, Newcastle Everton. Um, if we win, we go a point behind Everton, uh, but we also leapfrog Watford and come out of that relegation zone. So, fingers crossed, uh, this all goes well, uh, but we shall see. Um, as this highlight's lasting quite a long time, normally these kickoff ones don't do much, but they're straight through straight away, and blimey, Townsend gets a shot in the first kind of minute of the game. Um, that's not looking good for the rest of this game. But that's brilliant defending by Cher. Uh, 
Wilson has played in Almiron, who's going to run the ball to the byline. There's no one there, but he's found Trippier, who's then found Almiron again, got the cross in, uh, but the shot from St. Maximum has been blocked. Uh, Target now has the ball, passes it to Bruno. Uh, back to Target and St. Maximum. Can he run through? Yes, he can. Can he get the cross away? Yes, he can. Uh, Shane Wilson couldn't do anything with that, but that clearance is poor, and Trippier now has it, and it was a deflection, but Pickford has managed to recover. And now we have a corner, and Trippier's going to cross it in, and it's straight into the tiny, tiny arms of Jermaine Pickford. Who clears it out straight away, and we recover the ball well, so Willock picks it up, and yeah, that pass was awful. Uh, Watford have just equalised as well, uh, which isn't great news. Um, it will be now breaking down on this right-hand side, but the pass goes to nothing. St. Maximum just hoofs it, yeah. That's not what we want to be seeing. Calvert-Lewin's in, but Lascelles puts in a great block there. Um, and we recover. I'm straight into another highlight. Uh, we've got Trippier on the ball, passes it to Almiron. Uh, over the top to Wilson, who then plays in St. Maximum. Uh, that was a great little ball. Can we get the cross back in? Yes, we can. The shot was poor, though, and blocked straight away. Uh, it's still nil-nil, 25 minutes gone. Everton have the ball. They're playing it around quite nicely. Uh, Michaelenko now with the ball. That's their new sign-in. But Almiron manages to put enough pressure on front to get rid. But Richarlison comes through. Trippier with a great block. Uh, Miggy and Trippier just passing it back and forth to each other in their own half. I'm not too happy about, but there we go. Uh, that ball's to nothing. Um, cleared out to Richarlison. And then it will be picked up. And Calvert-Lewin's free. This is going to be a great save by Dubravka. And Willock picks it up, gives it to Almiron. Trip, yeah, back to Almiron. That's a poor ball. That is a very poor ball. And they recover quite well in the middle of the field. And then Calvert-Lewin straight through. And, it, yeah, yeah, that was a poor goal by Miggy to, to let them in. And uh, ball over the top just has done us rotten. And Calvert-Lewin has slotted at home in the bottom right. And it's 1-0. I see if we can quickly recover from this. I hope we can. Uh, we've got Callum Wilson playing through Miggy Almiron. He's taking it out wide. I really wanted him to just run in and, and maybe try the shot, but we'll see. And then he's played a ball all the way back to Lascelles on his halfway line. Um, but he's managed to play in Callum Wilson. Um, I think that might be offside. Um, however, is it? Nope, it's been given. I thought that may have been offside, which is nice to see. But yeah, that was a good little ball from Shaw to Trippier, who heads it straight to Almer, and then a one-touch to Wilson, who slots it past Pickford, who's in no man's land. Uh, yeah, good goal. It's one all. I would prefer to be a bit more in, in there, but we've been okay. We do need to improve a little bit, though. So let's start the second half. Let's see if we can get another goal or two in this half. And then Everton are breaking now. We've got Richarlison, who's being forced out wide, but Calvert Lewin beats Lascelles in the air, and it's a it's a great save by Dubravka. We've only had one shot on target, and that was the goal, which I'm a little bit worried about. But we've had eight shots compared to their nine, as we have a free kick in our own half. Uh, straight back to Dubravka, uh, burnt to Lascelles. Lascelles is going to run forward a little bit. Willick plays it to Almiron. Almiron to Trippier. Go and get some, get some pace down there. Yep, he has Almiron back with the ball. He's going to try and cross it straight off Michaelenko. And Everton can break now, but that's great recovery by Almiron. Um, although Everton do still have the ball. Although Shares now done a great tackle as well. Um, St. Maximum ran on. Byrne found him. And then Almiron's ran on. Now he has Trippier. Can Trippier get a goal? St. Maximum at the far post with the header. It's 2-1. That ball from St. Maximum over to Almiron was fantastic. Uh, he does well to stop, turn and find Trippier. And I thought this was a shot, but it turns out St. Maximum's at the far post just to nod at home. I did get a message up that uh, Willock may be slightly injured, so we'll see how that pans out. Um, it's 65 minutes gone. I will be making changes soon. As Everton equalise almost instantaneously with a cross um, and Calvert-Lewin with an almost free header. Uh, Lascelles to Bruno, Bruno to Willick. Willick plays it over to Trippier, who has to head it because it's a bit of a wayward pass. I think that maybe is down to Willick's uh, injury, but it's recovered well. That's a great ball 
and absolutely fantastic finish by Wilson. What a ball by Bruno uh, over the top of everyone and Wilson just picks it out past Pickford. Uh, it's 3-2. Uh, it was a poor pass by, I believe, a Warby, which allowed, yeah, Lascelles to capitalise. And then this just one touch pass straight over on the chest past Pickford and into the bottom left corner. It's 3 2. And I was going to make a change, but we're straight into another highlight, which I'm worried about. Um, it seems like we're scoring and then Everton are just scoring straight away, which is making this a really horrible game to watch. And there's another cross. This time it's saved, but it was Van der Beek with the header. So what I'm going to do, I'm going to swap. Gomez and Willock and then I'm going to bring on John Joe Shelby um, I think I'm also going to bring on Murphy for uh, who's uh, yeah Miggy Almiron there's 70 minutes gone I'm going to lower this to balanced the mentality so we're not going to be as attacking as we were but we're still going to play on the on the front foot a little bit that's a ball over the top uh, Calvert Loon picks it up El Ghazi now has it um, but he's forced wide and that's a great save by Dubravka. Iwobi was on his own in the box. Um, what a save. That Could we have saved the game, that? 88 minutes. Come on, can we hold on? We need to hold on. Target of Shelby. Shelby over the top. Uh, Godfrey gets it clear. And now Everton can break with this. 89 minutes on the clock. And Iwobi's just gone past Shelby like he's not even there. Um, Townsend now to Iwobi. Um, they're playing it back and forth, though, which I'm... I'm okay about Calvert Lewin to Van der Beek. Van der Beek over the top. He has Fabian Delph and Shaw puts in a block. And there's four minutes of injury time to be played. I do not like this uh, as we are going to swap Richie uh, for St. Maximum. This is a horrible final few minutes for everyone involved. We are 3-2 up. We are we are winning as it stands at the moment, but this could go either way still. Uh, Townsend gets across, but it's great defence by Byrne to block it. Uh, they have a corner which we're going straight into. And there's that equaliser, Yeri Mina. <sighs> that was coming. Yeah, they were absolutely pressurising us. And that's going to be, I think, 3 all, unless this turns it to 4-3. No, that's it. So at the end of that, it is 3 all. We probably should have won that. Um, we had the higher XG by the end of it. We didn't play too badly. 13 shots, 5 on target. Um with a what was it a 92 percent pass completion rate i would have took that at the start of uh proceedings but it's better than a defeat it is a draw unfortunately um but we move on to the next game okay so we're going to leave it there for this episode last little look at the table um we are currently set in 18th uh with 22 games played a minus 22 goal difference and 16 points we are what two points behind Watford uh we're equal points and games now to Norwich um but they have a much worse goal difference than we do and Burnley are rooted to the bottom on 12 points yeah this could still go either way it is going to go probably down to the wire um in the next episode we'll be taking the Villa and the West Ham games in the Premier League so that about wraps it up for the video today. Uh, thanks very much for watching. If you do like this, please hit the like button um, and, and leave a comment below on, on how you think this will go. Do you think Newcastle will stay up? Let us know. Uh, this is something new that we're trying. So if you do enjoy this content, as I said, please hit that like button. It really means a lot. Um, if you want to see the next episode and want to be reminded, hit the little bell icon and also subscribe to the Gallagher Shots YouTube channel. Uh, obviously, you don't just get this type of content. Uh, we do have podcasts throughout the week um, and you can also become a member. It's just $2.99 a month and it will get you access to the Telegram group uh, and also early access to some of the videos and podcasts. Uh, but anyway, like I said, that's it for today's video. Thanks very much for watching and I'll see you in the next one. Bye bye.